I had um, eyelashes in my hair one time. Oh God, you couldn't find it. And them. I had it for days, I know I had it for days, cause I'm like, I haven't worked in like two or three days and it's in my hair. <laughs> well, this is a wig by the way, so it'll be taken out. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Erica LaPearl. I am back and this time I'll be showing you guys this colorful look I did on Cardi for her photo shoots. We did a nice color with pinks and yellows, so keep on watching, you wanna learn this look. I'm really feeling myself, cause I think I love beauty. For this look, I did on Cardi. The hairstylist gave her like this colorful hair, so I got inspired by her hair. Oh, so course. I was trying to use every color in the hair, so she had like purple, sky blues, pinks. So we'll be using the Morphe palette, James Charles edition. His palette has all of the colors. It's like the oldest trick in the book, guys. I like to apply it right at the end of the eyes. So it also gives you that lift effect, too. But for some reason, I cannot work without this trick. So I'm apply the purple in this area. Because her hair had a lot of purple and light purples and blues and stuff like that. So I like to use a darker purple, too, just to give it that, that eye a more defined, you know? Were you nervous or excited to do this look? Because it's so many colors on one eye. Like I said, she loves stuff like this. So I knew off rip that she was going like this. Sometimes I like to do the neutral colors, and she'd be like, Berica, it's so, it's so plain. So I'm like, all right, I know she likes colors, so I won't hear her mouth, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna take this light color, the light purple, and I'm gonna blend it up into the crease. When I do this step, I like to be very light-handed, and, and I do a circular motions. I don't really practice the eye looks, I just pretty much, when I when I see her, and then when I see her hair, and I'm like, okay. When I got this palette, I was like, oh, let me play with this. And I just started just picking out colors, and just putting it together. You know, it's a good thing that she had that color wig. I was like, okay, now I really wanna use this. So I'm gonna use this light blue right here. I'm gonna be very light-handed. I'm gonna go with this pink, and I'm also gonna mix it with this pastel pink. I'm very extra, so I'm gonna take my finger, Use it both colors and then just go right on top. It makes it more pop. Cause like she has very small eyes, Cardi. So I like to make sure the eyeshadow really like stand out, you know? And then I'm gonna take the same brush and just blend out. Now I'm gonna use yellow. So I'm gonna take this yellow and this pastel yellow right here. I really want gonna be focused on this one because I really want her eyes to be bright. I'm gonna take this pastel pink right here, and I'm just gonna dab it on top of the yellow that I placed on inner her in the corner of her eye. It's gonna make like a pinky yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause I remember when I forgot when I was doing her eyes, it didn't have that much yellow, and I remember she was like, "Erica, it's too much yellow." So I remember I did add the pink. I'm gonna take this Morphe palette. I'm gonna mix these two highlighters, Beam and Big Bang. I like to dip it back and forth, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So for eyeliner, when I've been working a lot, I don't have time to go makeup shopping. So I've been actually using this Pat McGrath mascara as an eyeliner. Only mascaras I feel like you can use that technique on waterproof uh, mascaras because they won't it won't move or budge. And this will literally last all day. I'm telling you guys. Usually, even though it's snatch. I like to I make love it. When you do that. I'm sorry, I just love it. <laughs> so I like to take I like to clean it. So I'm gonna take the concealer. This one is C345. I'ma take my cold gen do uh, make a wipe and now I'm just gonna clean up on the bottom of her eyes. I always do lash and bottom of her eyes last. So we're just gonna go straight to the face now. So we're gonna go with primer. Well, moisturizer first, actually. I can't pronounce this. Ola Henriksen. Ola. Ola Henriksen. Ola Henriksen, right? Okay. <laughs> I have to look it up. Just put a little bit, hope it goes a long way. I like to use this Cover FX Blurring Primer. This one is a, is a thick primer, so it also does in pores and lines. So I'm gonna go with the NARS in medium dark three. And I'm doing the contour now, guys. I'm gonna mix C525, which is this light brown color, 
And now I'm gonna go a little darker with C545. So when I do contour, I like to have, you know, my client smile. So I know where to apply the, the contour. So I'm gonna take this small beauty blender and then I'm just gonna go and buff this out. So I'm gonna use the back part of the, of the sponge to blend out the contour. And I'm gonna take the front part where I have the lighter concealer and just blend it out to make it more non-harsh. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm using the JH41. So it's like a flat brush. It's pointy too, so it helps me draw that line down the nose. You can use any like flat brush in this area. What I like to do too, I like to apply the contour in this area just to make the, the nose more in. It makes a huge difference, guys, I'm telling you. And then take the back part of the sponge that I've been using. And I like to just blend it out. I like to take the lighter color, which is C345. So I'm gonna take the front of the sponge, the pointy parts, and then I'm just gonna go right in the inner of her nose. Cause we already snatched this area, so now we're gonna bring everything in. So guys, I'm gonna use the RCMA um, powder. I love this powder so much, guys. When you put the powder, just dab it into the skin. I didn't bring a lot of my kit, so I'm gonna show you guys how to contour with eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. She has a bunch of like neutral colors and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go with this color right here and then be very light-handed, guys. And I'm gonna apply this in this area. And I'm gonna bring all that to the forehead. So this is MAC in dark. I love this. I, I feel like everybody should get this. This is really good to sweep under the eyes. I will use medium golden also uh, with this. So I'm gonna mix these two together. So now when I sweep away, I am doing circular motion, but very light-handed, guys, because you don't want to move the product around. So I'm gonna take the Morphe palette. It's a blush palette. So I'm gonna use this peachy orangey color right here. It's really good for brow skin. I like to apply the, um, the blush in this area first, and then work my way in. Like I want this blush to show up because I want it to like match the eyes in a way. So I'm gonna take Big Bang and Beam. I'll apply it right into the bridge of the nose. So this is an E32. So I'm gonna take this. It's from Jeffree Star. I like to use his lipsticks as eyeliner. I'm gonna put this right in the waterline, but I'm gonna be very light-handed, cause that's a little sensitive area. And what I like about this lipstick, it does not move at all, it stays in place. So I'm gonna use this color right here. Dab it, go right in this area. This color right here, it's called Dream. I'm just blend in this area. It's my little trick with mascara. I like to take a lot of the of the product and I just apply it right almost close to in the eye. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna add it right in this area. Pop even more. So I'm gonna take this dark color. And then I'ma also blend it out. Let me see the little light. All right, guys. If you want to follow me, it's Erica Pearl. Anyway, is right here. And stay tuned. I'll be back for some more tutorials. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Ooh.